God is good, amen? Yeah. God is good, amen? Yeah. Oh, heaven, I sold the set on fire tonight. Yeah. Just wouldn't do right. 
fear of kindness being spread over there because the news is so full of evil and wrongdoing. And every now and again they'll throw in just a little bit of kindness because people just don't do it like they used to. They don't spread it like they used to. And you know, kindness, it costs no money. The help given by one person to another is done freely. That's not to say that there is no cost. It does cost the sacrifice of time and energy. And nobody wants to spend time and nobody wants to spend energy. We all so busy. We all got something to do. I think we're living by our, our, our time and pieces, either our telephones or our itinerary. I know so many people, you say, well, can I come do this? Or can you come over here? Well, let me look at my camera. Let me see if I can figure it in. Amen? It also costs the discipline to be thoughtful of others' needs. Others need. It's not about me. It's not about I. It means you gotta think about somebody besides yourself. Oh yeah, kindness costs something. It costs us to think about somebody besides ourselves. Think about somebody besides what is in my house. You know, I heard somebody say that you aren't really praying unless you're praying for somebody other than you and yours. God knows what we need. And he knows what we have to have. But every time we get on our knees, it's God, give me, give me. God, I want. God, please, please. How many times have you say, God, help somebody? God, I want you to bless that family. God, I want you to heal that. or I should say an action fruit. It requires an effort to act. You gotta do something. You gotta do something. You gotta do something for the welfare of others. In spite of, I said, in spite of how they treat you. That's what makes kindness work. It's unconditional. Because you good, I'm good because I'm good. Yeah. I'm good because you did it, I did it because I did it. Yeah. It means that you have to be thinking about how you are treating somebody else. Yeah. Kindness makes you think about how I'm treating my neighbor. Yeah. How I'm treating my co-worker. How I'm treating my fellow members in the church. How I'm treating 
kind of sows many seeds. And all of them bring back good fruit. All of them. When you spread it, it's going forth. And it can only produce good fruit. The after effects of kindness is countless. Who knows? You know, they say each one win one and and, and I do for you and you do for another. It just keeps going and going and going. Everybody look like they're funny. Well, kindness. It's got a heavenly battery, amen. Such seeds can ripple out to touch the lives of many more fire moves from that one act. You've seen the commercial where you see somebody watch somebody do something and then they do something and somebody watch them and then they do something and you just keep going and go. Remember 2 Timothy 3 and 3 says that in the last day, mankind will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, proud, disobedient, unthankful, unholy, unforgiving, and it just goes on and on. Read it for yourself. We are that end generation. The time they were talking about are here. And we've got to work hard. We've got a hard job. We've got to bring this thing back together. And even to get it close to what Christ did for us, we've got to work hard. But we can do it. We can do it because Christ is on the inside of us. And what he did, we can do it. Is especially sweet tasting and it brings about unity. Amen? And now my, my last point. God is our model for kindness. Amen? In Matthew 5, 4 through 48, Jesus says, but I say to you, bless those who curse you. Do good things to those who hate you and Pray for those who spitefully, they go that spider, spitefully use you and persecute you. That you may be the son of your father in heaven. For he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good. He sends rain on the just and the unjust. For if you are kind to those who are kind to you, what reward is that? You know, back then, the, the, the tax collectors were considered the most evil thing on the earth. And he says, even the tax collectors do that. And if you greet your brother only, that what he says, and if you greet your brother only, what you do more than to others. In other words, if they're greeting you and you're greeting them, what is that? Therefore, you shall be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. God is telling us, I came through 40 and two generations to show you how to get it right. What you waiting on? What you waiting on? It's too late when he cracked the sky. It's too late when Gabriel's Noah Bell get the ring. It's too late when the Trust away in blood, it's too late. What are you waiting on? And you know, we can see that mercy and kindness are very similar. And we know that sometimes doing an act of kindness can be a difficult thing, let alone doing it with concern and a generous heart. Just being kind sometimes is hard because people are hard to love. People are hard to be kind to. It's hard to be kind to somebody giving you their behind the kids. It's hard to be kind to somebody treating you like a dog. It's hard to be kind to somebody helping you out. But God did it. We can do it. You must always remember that Lord Jesus Christ did. He did it every day of his life. He did 
say that long before a person can truly be kind and merciful, God has got to be kind and merciful to live. Once you get the power of the living God living down on the inside of you, you can do it. And if you're not doing it, if you can't do it, it's because God ain't in you. Because if God be for if God dwells on the inside, I declare that I know that I know all things are possible. You can be kind. You can reach out to people. You can give love. And you can treat people better than they're treating you. But the choice is yours. He never forces anything. The choice is yours. And it's mine. Choose kindness. God says, I set before you life and death. Choose life. He will give you the answers on the table. Never forget God's character, His example, and His promise to us. Isaiah 54 and 10 says, For the mountains shall depart, and the hills be removed. But my kindness shall not depart from you, nor shall my covenant of peace be removed, says the Lord who has mercy on you, and mercy on me, and mercy on this whole evil world. So I just say before I sit down, just a small depart from that particular subject, I just want us to remember that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is a Jew. And we are a brother. Therefore, our heritage is in that also. So please honor the heritage. Starting tomorrow, we'll begin the great festival, the Feast of Tabernacles. And we need to know about that. Don't be fooled. Don't let nobody tell you what you're not. If you belong to Jesus, you belong to all of us. You don't pick and choose what works for you. And this festival looks at those 40 years that the children of Israel were in the wilderness and how God took care of them every day. And shoes never wore out there. Clothes never wore out. And I declare God takes care of you every day. He takes care of me every day. Pray for your children. Pray for your family. Pray for your neighbors because God takes care of us. Don't be fooled. The government don't do it. The love on job don't do it. I don't care how good he is. Your husband and your wife can't take care of you. Only God has that power. He put people in our lives to, to give us comfort and strengthen us and, and give us a companionship. But God that we lean and depend on. And when you lean and depend on and when you put him in the inside, you'll be kind. It won't even be hard. Somebody try to scorn you, you smile at him and say, God loves you. When they try to treat you wrong, you say, that's all right. God loves you. And you move on and continue to do what God has called you to do. God is good, amen? God is good, amen?
is one of the traits, the traits that all born again men and women should have. Uh, he or she should believe before it even comes to fruition. Yeah, yeah. It takes faith. Thank you. 
open your mouth up, baby. Yeah. And you declare that thing. Yeah. You say, I got it. Yeah. By the power. Yeah. And the in me. Yeah. Yeah. Some of us. Some of us. We don't want to talk to him sometimes loud. And but you don't have to all the time. But Lord, when we get mad at somebody else. If we live next door, we can hear it. But when it comes down to talking to the Lord, I don't know what to say. I don't have nothing to say. Amen. That's right. Amen. God is an awesome God. Yeah. And I stand on His word tonight. Yeah. I stand on His promise. Yeah. Because if He said, Yeah. 
like Jackson and say, Lord, are you sure? Who you talking to? He's God. Trust him. That's what he wants us to do. I told my husband, I told my husband more than one time. I said, you know what? I said, God wants me to trust him. I'm going to trust him too. I'm going to trust him until I need him. You know that problem that I'm going to trust him at all? Of his word to be prayed. Yeah. Faith in God. Yeah. You put your faith in man, baby, you're going to get hurt. Yeah. But have faith yeah. in God. Yeah. The one that can speak to the sun and the sky. Yeah. The one that can speak to the moon and it's shining. Yeah. The one that can speak to the stars and it's the one that can speak to us. We get up. Then he turn around and get to speak to us. But I'm mighty God. He is. And you tell me, think I'm not going to trust him? He holds my life. He holds your life. In his hand. Have faith. In God. No matter what it looks like. Have faith. In God. But that's all I'm saying. Behind the cloud. The sun. Will shine. You just got to know, baby. It's not going to be cloudy all the time. That's all the part of life. Ups and downs. But trust God. Hold on. And lead not until your own understanding. Because, baby, you don't know it. Have faith in God. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Let the church say amen. amen. God has spoken. Amen. Let the church amen. say amen. amen. Sometimes you can get up and give him some praise right now. Because he loves us. I say his word. Hallelujah. He loves the people he prays. Yes, he is. Yes, he is.